They came with all manner of terminology. How long will it take me to manipulate this instrument? Solo means the role or a lead. That's why we say solo or slash lead, because it's about the role it plays. Then we have the rhythm guitar, mm -hmm. which does not necessarily uh, play the percuss the rhythm mm -hmm. as in the throbs. Mm -hmm. No, it is a roll. Mm -hmm. You can imagine the confusion that can can Emanate be there from that. Uh, from that. Yes, because and now we have a drum set. You, because yes. now I, I like the discussion, the direction we are heading to. Because um, mm. coming from a Western, maybe classical perspective, Absolutely. where um, I mean the guitar has a certain defined role, or there is a certain music that classical guitar um, will play, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, mm -hmm. and then comes into the popular setting where yes. one we have different guitars playing different roles, mm -hmm. uh, and um, now you as a someone or as a teacher who has influences from both backgrounds. Mm -hmm. um, how are you able to synthesize this information to make sense um, that you can conf confidently go to a classical um, guitar class and you can teach them something about the classical technique. Uh, but then you also have, uh, which I believe is your stronghold, mm -hmm. the popular guitar class um, mm -hmm. and teach them um, countless ideas or countless things um, mm -hmm. and skills and knowledge backgrounds of how to approach um, studying the popular guitar um, in terms of technique and style. So uh, maybe we can, you could, we could discuss about that, that synthesis, that coming together of all these knowledge systems, ideas, um, and even sometimes personal beliefs on what you feel um, um, is a correct way of approaching um, teaching music to a student um, within a particular context. Putting also in, into mind the society that this student goes out to practice this music. Yes. Yeah, that is a very complex uh, topic, <laughs> but I'll handle it. Uh, okay. There are certain approaches that cut across the board, mm -hmm. both Western and mm -hmm. African, mm -hmm. or popular for that matter, because mm -hmm. even the term popular itself mm. Uh, has mutated over time mm. because it was first referred to in Europe mm. and it was referring to rock, yes, mm. rock and roll music. Mm -hmm. And then there was pop, mm. there was then Afro pop as mm. music, you know, mm. evolves around. Mm. So there are certain skills of mm -hmm. teaching mm -hmm. that remain, that can cut across the board. Mm -hmm. Like when it comes to fingering techniques mm -hmm. and the playing techniques. Mm -hmm. You know, we have two hands. Yes. How you play and how you finger. Mm -hmm. The dividing line mm -hmm. in my own thinking, and this is not in anybody's book, mm -hmm. is that in popular music styles, mm -hmm. there is freedom. Mm -hmm. Rules are put aside and people go in for expression. Mm -hmm. But in the classical, you have to perform under specific rules. Mm -hmm. Posture, first of all, mm -hmm. you begin there, posture. Mm -hmm. You have to sit in a certain way. You must position the piece. The piece must be written mm -hmm. in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Then you must plug a string at a specified time mm -hmm. because on that particular score mm -hmm. there is there are symbols mm -hmm. that define it to the player mm -hmm. which string to mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. and by which finger mm -hmm. and when and how mm -hmm. when it comes to the popular side mm -hmm. those things don't apply we are interested in sound production mm -hmm. so what we do what I do and how I integrate this, mm -hmm. I say what is applicable on both sides. Mm -hmm. If somebody can hold a chord, can play a chord, the classical style, like this with the, the three fingers here, like mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and he's mm-hmm. able mm-hmm. i allow mm-hmm. okay i allow because he can do it mm-hmm. he, it breaks nobody's bone i borrow that from the western mm-hmm. and ask him if he can do mm-hmm. an african piece that way mm-hmm. if he can still do it mm-hmm. well and good mm-hmm. but some it is to his convenience mm-hmm. what is this that you can do easily it is about doing it from your comfort it becomes easier mm-hmm. than when you prescribe mm-hmm. a methodology that is very difficult and they insist that it has to be done this way for example mm-hmm. there are shapes mm-hmm. of chords yes. so many mm-hmm. we go in for which one is easy mm-hmm. like in most uh, rumba styles mm-hmm. um we go in for what we call shortcuts mm-hmm. and that shortcut means we have to get the most critical mm-hmm. notes of the chord mm-hmm. like the triad the yes. root the third and the fifth, the fifth yes. we can ignore others mm-hmm. like i can hold my key mm-hmm. g like this mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. this is a shortcut mm-hmm. from this from this one yes mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. it's because to allow for flexibility yes. finger dexterity yes from here mm-hmm. before you come here but you take time yes but when you are here you do this it is shorter mm-hmm. so those are the things that guide us so when i'm teaching i look at the finger dexterity of the learner mm-hmm. how flexible is it so if it is that flexible mm-hmm. to the degree that is good reasonable mm-hmm. we can go the full chord mm-hmm. say do this mm-hmm. but if he's still struggling mm-hmm. i take the shortcut and mm-hmm. say hold this for mm-hmm. now just to make sure that the what we call the there is tactile tactile memory the tactile me- memory is yeah. activated yes and once she gets mm-hmm. this or he gets this right mm-hmm. then i will add and say mm-hmm. after you have done this the full chord is head like this so i'm interact i'm integrating this full chord the shape mm-hmm. from the western mm-hmm. prescription mm-hmm. and the shortcut mm-hmm. from the popular style mm-hmm. and also yes. taking into consideration the abilities of this individual absolutely. student absolutely absolutely it is it is you know it's a very it's a nice triangle eh? yes taking all those aspects into consideration yes quite interesting uh-huh. yes yes so after that you'll find the student mm-hmm. going and saying mali mm-hmm. mwili kwa ni ngumu now what do you think we should do mm-hmm. same i discovered another way uh-huh. some students discover now ukishika namna hii so you look at it mm-hmm. then you find an alternative fingering and mm-hmm. it's bringing the picture there mm-hmm. say so, okay let's yes, move on freedom freedom mm-hmm. in popular style style freedom mm-hmm. provided mm-hmm. the pitch that i need mm-hmm. is, is 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 actually articulated again sound yes. production sound production popular popular music style being oriented towards you know the, the goal is you no know, produce sound and the produce a sound that we want Absolutely. versus play music that is prescribed mm-hmm. um there are schools of thought or there are, mm-hmm. of course many people who will say that oh but you know popular music um in most cases lacks quote unquote structure uh, <laughs> what do you say about that <laughs> i want you to say something about that uh, and this is my honest opinion the, yes um popular music mm-hmm. is fluid mm-hmm. popular music is not fixed mm-hmm. you can look at popular music from as many angles as possible mm-hmm. in terms of what you mean by structure mm-hmm. because there are certain rules and mm-hmm. I, i will still go back to the genres of music mm-hmm. that constitute mm-hmm. popular music mm-hmm. and they are prescribed mm-hmm. we have rumba one of the oldest mm-hmm. we have the reggae the raga the what call them mm-hmm. they have never remained the same mm-hmm. like uh, let me use rumba close here mm-hmm. rumba mm-hmm. for many years mm-hmm. since the days mm-hmm. of franco mm-hmm. grand cale you know from cuba mm-hmm. congo then kenya mm-hmm. in the 60s mm-hmm. rumba was uh, 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 was uh, structured in ab mm-hmm. structure form yeah yeah form mm-hmm. ab mm-hmm. naliba la mama pampa then 
anakuja climax mm-hmm. the song ends there mm-hmm. but the story mm-hmm. is not quite the same mm-hmm. as time went by mm-hmm. if you look at the pieces that are done by Diblo Dibala mm-hmm. it is almost difficult mm-hmm. to place that particular piece mm-hmm. in a certain structure mm-hmm. that is prescribed by the western western music western music uh-huh. And the best piece you mm-hmm. can look uh, for it later is called Extra Ball. Mm-hmm. The best I can associate with is the through compost. Because mm-hmm. as he starts mm-hmm. and he modulates, he goes to this key, he mm-hmm. goes to that, and mm-hmm. he does not mm-hmm. go back to the original, original key, key. And he does not mm-hmm. even repeat any of the sections mm-hmm. he began with. Mm-hmm. So should we say that is not music mm-hmm. just because mm-hmm. it has failed? to fit in the prescribed structure mm-hmm. or we are the people to look for and what kind of structure mm-hmm. this kind of music should fit in mm-hmm. so that is my where i come from but who said yes. that music has to fit within a certain structure <laughs> aha those are some of the discussions that yeah. uh, the, the discussions that we have in the academia yeah. there are people who are hell bent mm-hmm. to think that uh, any music for music to be music mm-hmm. must have a structure mm-hmm. from here to here it has to behave like this mm-hmm. from here to it has to behave like this. Mm-hmm. at the moment it does not do that mm-hmm. then that is not music <laughs> so in popular music there is mm-hmm. that freedom mm-hmm. there is innovation people are mm-hmm. creating new styles new performance ideas mm-hmm. new uh, ideas of composition day and night mm-hmm. so if you stick to the idea that there is there's no structure there is not one you'll remain behind mm-hmm. and that's where in my view classical music has remained behind <laughs> because uh when while we are talking about mara the plague or cadence as mm-hmm. uh, we interrupted the, the four mm-hmm. madilu mm-hmm. and pepekale mm-hmm. Ended two songs in a code you don't understand even mm-hmm. what to call, mm-hmm. and that is how the song ended. And what what is this song? Could you play that? Then maybe we see if, uh, <laughs> if we are able to. Uh, is it a Roger Miller? Uh huh. Roger Miller. Uh huh. I I I cannot do it on this particular class. All right. Roger Miller. Uh-huh. Uh, we, maybe something for we can look at another day. Yes. But sure. the idea is, mm-hmm. if we shall look at the structure just in terms of what comes after what in a piece of music mm-hmm. we need to come up with a new way mm. of uh, explaining or describing structures because mm. there are as many as there are musicians mm-hmm. yes styles and structures and yeah forms. structure in forms mm. a structure for me it is the inner inclusions mm. like we have one two three four here and after that when we put it together mm. from an outside view we see form mm-hmm. that's what my 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 my, my conviction is mm-hmm. alafu uh, when it comes to the, the performance mm-hmm. the, we we could have solo and response yes the harmonies most of the congolese for example do mm-hmm. it in a unison mm-hmm. And maybe they can split into natural organa. You know, a fourth, mm-hmm. a, a very interesting harmony that most of the time does not conform to mm-hmm. the Western mm-hmm. harmony, a tenor, bass, and this and that. SATB. Mm-hmm. SATB. Mm-hmm. It does not. And mm-hmm. it works. Mm-hmm. You, go, you One can listen to Wenge Musika's pieces. Mm-hmm. Now, you look at how Kofi Olomide sings. You look at that and you wonder which which voice is this mm-hmm. and it is working mm-hmm. in that particular you look at Remy Ongala Kifo mm-hmm. uh, Kifo mm-hmm. he has a very hoarse voice but it's mm-hmm. nice mm-hmm. yeah you look at uh, who else you know there are so many we can call mm-hmm. Lakin mm-hmm. everybody has what I call his identity his mm-hmm. fingerprint mm-hmm. when that music starts mm-hmm. you will be able to tell even before he opens his mouth mm-hmm. this is kanda bongo mm-hmm. this is i call angalanga mm-hmm. this is uh, samba mapangala mm-hmm. this is kofi this is jiben piano mm-hmm. this is uh, niboma mm-hmm. this is uh, 
the Joski. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, who? Uh, Bozi Boziana. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Freddy de Majunga. Mm -hmm. Now this one is uh, Lucine Bokilo. Mm -hmm. This is John de Bokilo. I can name even a thousand. Mm -hmm. so if it starts, I'll tell you this is this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, so everybody has something mm -hmm. that identifies his case. Now, uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, emanating from your discussions, I can see a lot of in your influences are from the Congolese rumba, mm -hmm. the, the, mm -hmm. Congo, mm -hmm. the Congolese musicians. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, now that we are talking about popular music uh, guitar or popular guitar, yes. um, we are in Kenya. Absolutely. Uh, would you say that um, if one was to talk about a Kenyan identity mm -hmm. in terms of popular guitar, mm -hmm. um, then it would be very difficult to divorce it from the Congolese style of playing? And what your thoughts would be from um, the, the local styles? <coughs> okay. Mm -hmm. The local styles. Um, mm -hmm. we, we know now we have the Kenyan bangers, mm -hmm. um, the styles, mm -hmm. um, and um, we, yeah, we also we have the Mugithis, mm -hmm. ETCs. Mm -hmm. So, um, would would it be okay to say that? <coughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Bless you. <laughs> would it be okay to say then that um, your style, your unique style, yes. uh, is very influenced by the Congolese, um, the Congolese, you know. Yes. Crew and yes, the, and the yes. group and the musicians, um, and it's not the current. It's it's musicians of a certain era. Um, I think that you know this is music that you listened to when you were growing up, when mm -hmm. you were younger, which is ingrained mm -hmm. um, in your individual mm -hmm. style. This is a double-edged question because mm -hmm. after that discussion, what I would want you to do is, um, I would want you to play a music. Mm -hmm in your own individual style mm -hmm. and in a style that you think would not be um you know associated with you how another musician would interpret that music and how you specifically interpret it which then would add your own individual style yes <coughs> sorry <coughs> this has come at about a wrong time but i think it shall be edited it's all right <laughs> <coughs> sorry mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> I have to begin somewhere. Yes. Allow me so yes. that I fix my point well. Very true. The Kenyan rumba mm -hmm. was largely influenced by the Congolese. Mm -hmm. That is for a fact. And the very, very first rumba mm -hmm. that <coughs> ever worked, mm -hmm. happened on Kenyan music scene, mm -hmm. was called the Swahili rumba. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> The Swahili rumba was influenced by these two guys. Okay. The I, I'll call him in the Bukuso, called Jean Bosco mm -hmm. Wabayeke, mm -hmm. but I think Jean in French is supposed to be Jean. Jean. <laughs> yes, Jean, Jean Bosco Wabayeke mm -hmm. and Edward Masengo. Mm -hmm. These are the guys who mm -hmm. came with the finger picking style mm -hmm. in the early uh, Sigistis mm -hmm. and conquered mm -hmm. the Kenyan music style, mm -hmm. Swahili style, mm -hmm. and changed like Mama, Zoe, you know that particular piece. Mm -hmm. Ti -ti 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 mm -hmm. Those are the guys who came with the finger picking style. Okay. But before they came, mm -hmm. the Kenyan guitarists mm -hmm. were used to what we used to refer to as the vamping style and the strumming. Okay, and what is this vamping style? Vamping is just the same as okay. strumming, mm -hmm. but do you know strumming? Mm -hmm. We are using the plaque drum, eh? mm -hmm. but vamping is when you do this. That's what vamping was mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> Kinadaudi Kabakas, mm -hmm. Funikondes, mm -hmm. who are used to this. Okay? The Jim Reeves style. Because well, that is, was their first exposure because it's Western oriented. Okay. But when the Jean uh, Bosco and Edward Masengo came, mm -hmm. they are the ones who came with the finger picking. And this style mm -hmm. caught the eyes and interest of the Kenyan mm -hmm. practicing musicians mm -hmm. because they were still there. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these are the guys. Mm -hmm who influenced most of the uh, musicians mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm -hmm. 
and they adapted it mm -hmm. into now the birth of the Bengas, mm -hmm. the birth of Kenyan Rumbas. Mm -hmm. And for your information and any other person, mm -hmm. these genres, mm -hmm. as they move around the world, mm -hmm. when Rumba got into Congo mm -hmm. from Cuba, mm -hmm. it ceased to be the Cuban uh, Rumba. Mm -hmm. It fused with the elements of the Congolese uh, cultural, cultural music yes. and uh, produced the Congolese Rumba. Mm -hmm. When Rumba found itself in Kenya, mm -hmm. it has fused with the traditional mm -hmm. elements of our music here mm -hmm. and even in Tanzania mm -hmm. and everywhere, even in the US, mm -hmm. it's called the flamenco, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like in Kenya here, mm -hmm. you cannot have a standard Rumba. Mm -hmm. No. The Kenyan popular music scene is ethnic based, mm -hmm. just like our cultural musics are culture and ethnic specific. Okay, some water for you there. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. So, like when you look at mm -hmm. the rumba, mm -hmm. we can say Kenyan. Mm -hmm. We are saying Kenyan just because it is done by a Kenyan artist. Mm -hmm will not run away from the idea of ethnicity. Yes, true. Musa Juma of mm -hmm. the, the Luo mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. was one of those that were regarded as the king of Rumba mm -hmm. because he was doing Maselina Niko Nagari Apo Inje. Okay, alikuwa naimba Maselina kwa Kiswahili. Code mixing was so good mm -hmm. and mixing it. But you look deep down, mm -hmm. the music at some point in the climax, mm. it is bringing in an Ohangla beat. Yes. So those that is now unique mm. rumba to the Luo the, community. Yes, 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 yes. When you come to the Luya, mm. Luya is just Very in the recent yeah. past yes. that it's beginning to adapt to rumba mm. by this recent guy called um, Agivambo. Mm -hmm who is trying to do rumba. Mm -hmm. But for many years, the Luya community has just done Benga mm -hmm. and Omotibo. Ongaro no mundu undide. Eyo, it Sukuma Obini Ongaro used yes. to do that Benga. Mm -hmm. Aya, when you go to Ukamani, mm -hmm. you get Ken Wamaria mm -hmm. with the Sindosia Motongo Indi, mm -hmm. they are doing that. Mm -hmm. When you go to uh, Bosco Mulwa, mm -hmm. the same. Mm -hmm. It was this guy uh, called Festo, Festo mm -hmm. was an AP commandant mm -hmm. uh, with the Wema brothers. Ikiwa wenda nyumbani mama, umambi Estella, something, something. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was he was trying to bring in an arumba element, mm -hmm. but on a chakacha beat. Mami ye te 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 So, rumba can't be standard. Mm -hmm. Rumba is understood in Kenya, mm -hmm. ethnically. Mm -hmm. It fuses wherever it goes. Mm -hmm. The musicians from that particular cultural mm -hmm. background mm -hmm. would bring in something from their home. Yeah, from the culture. Uh, from the culture yeah. and fuse it mm. with what they have got. Mm -hmm. So you'll find the Luya Rumba, uh, Kikuyu Rumba, mm -hmm. if it, it will ever be there, mm -hmm. you'll find the Kalenjin, mm -hmm. the, 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 the Mijikenda, the mm -hmm. what, the what, the mm -hmm. what, the what. Mm -hmm. That is what is unfortunate mm -hmm. with that kind of genre. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what was the other bit about the years? Yes, so uh, mm. that, that was your influences, your Congolese yes. influences. Yes, so now, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm telling you for, for real. Mm -hmm. The person who made me mm. love guitar mm -hmm. than anything else mm. was a Congolese guitarist called Diblo mm -hmm. Dibala. Mm -hmm. I was a lover mm -hmm. of guitar, mm -hmm. but that guy, mm -hmm um messed me up for <laughs> lack of a better word i almost refused to go to school just mm -hmm. to be i just wanted to discover the secret how is this guy doing guitar mm. diblo mm. and i began practicing mm -hmm. imitating mm -hmm. most of the songs he was doing but they were very intricate mm -hmm. no diblo is doing this when he was maybe in the in his 30s mm. and i was not 15 mm. 
the age gap was quite dif- uh, big, mm-hmm. but Diblo Dibala was so smart, mm. and the guitar was speaking to my heart. Mm-hmm. And I did not do much of the Bukusu oriented music mm-hmm. like you'd expect. Mm. And for reasons I don't understand, maybe it's because it never appealed to me mm-hmm. the way the Diblo stuff appealed to me. Mm. So I've, dis- I've learned uh, a lot from Diblo and any other mm-hmm. uh, musician, uh, guitarist from Congo, mm-hmm. especially the two mm-hmm. uh, lead guitarists, the Diblo mm-hmm. Dibala and the Dali Kimoko, mm-hmm. who are contemporaries. Mm-hmm. But then later on, there are others that came on lead guitar. Mm-hmm. Those who are the best mm-hmm. at that particular time, mm-hmm. taking after Frango mm-hmm. uh, himself, who was doing uh, the the capot guitar. Okay. Yeah, the capo with, yeah, with this, the capo. With the capo. Yes. And he was never, you know, exploring mm. the full fingerboard. Yes. The way Diblo Dibalana was doing. Uh-huh. So when I met uh, this guy, Edil Bosco, mm-hmm. uh, my teacher, mm-hmm. he also told me that it was Diblo mm. that inspired him. <laughs> So he just emphasized. He, yes, emphasized. Em- he emphasized. So yeah. Diplo has spoiled many of us. <laughs> uh, that that was the orientation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Diplo. Then we came to Dali Kimoko. Mm-hmm. Then we came to others like Saladin. Mm-hmm. Then the rumba changed. Mm-hmm. The from uh, the, 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 the 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 what we call the character of the the. It was never called X7 that time. Mm-hmm. The the climaxes of. The room of those mm-hmm. days mm. was not characterized by the seven. Mm. Uh, the seven is coming in far much recently by, by the Wenge Musika, mm-hmm. the Wenge Musikas, the extra Musika mm. to the present. And it has also been mutating. Mm. It is just not the, the seven the that seven was that, there yes. when we are in the early 90s. Yes. Yes. yes, it was not there. If you allow me to demonstrate, yes, please. The 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 Seven of that time was operating in the forts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But the the one that followed mm-hmm. was not working more mm. in the forts, uh-huh. but it was rather hybrid. Mm-hmm. They would just play at uh, the forts Kidogo, mm-hmm. then go or what I call single line, mm-hmm. uh, like now this one. Interesting. Yeah. Like you know, the and the mute, eh? Mm-hmm. It was oh muted. Uh-huh. 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 And another character was the use of distortion. Mm-hmm. There is an uh, sound effect called mm-hmm. distortion. Yeah, the distortion yeah. Yeah, then they Through distortion, it, the sound is so different. Mm-hmm. Something, something like that. Mm-hmm. So it mutated from this. So you go to any church this, the, those days. If you don't do any stuff like this, yeah. you are not current. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you are not current. You are very old. Uh-huh. But those days, like in Akanda Bongo, uh-huh. man, they were playing things like, uh, like. Uh, and this guitar is so, like a... It still feels a little grounded, eh? 
Pardon? I mean, it feels a little grounded, eh? Yeah. Like, it wasn't. It, it wasn't daring to no. explore so much. Mm-mm, it's, mm-mm. it's still grounded within. They had the, what are we used to refer as definitive mm. melodic motifs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could hear something. Even for uh, this guy, uh, we know uh, Omari Mapangala. Mm-hmm. So I can conclude saying that mm-hmm. the rumba of the early days, like the Sigistis, mm-hmm. it uh, used to have definitive. Mm-hmm melodic lines motifs, motifs mm-hmm. that you could practice practice mm-hmm. practice mm-hmm. and that's why it has stood test of time mm-hmm. but for Diblo mm-hmm. was a bit elusive mm-hmm. and very complex mm-hmm. not very many musicians managed to imitate and do it in live concerts mm-hmm. so they used it to evade mm-hmm. because it was so complex mm-hmm. Diblo Dibala's music have died mm-hmm. in the in the uh, public concerts mm-hmm. you don't hear them mm-hmm. like in you can go to these live bands and find karubandika is there mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. karubandika had a certain structure mm-hmm. and the fingering the the riffs were not as complicated mm-hmm. yes it explains sometimes why certain music is dying much faster mm-hmm. than and others. another one is than ah, others. Okay. yes yes Interesting. Wow. Well, um, <laughs> to come towards the conclusion of our discussion, I think I had mentioned that I wanted I wanted to hear your unique interpretation mm-hmm. of popular guitar, mm-hmm. and this is this was a task. Mm-hmm. Uh, play a song, mm-hmm. a popular song, mm-hmm. in the style of the creator, mm-hmm. and also play it in your own style, mm-hmm. so that we hear what is this. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yes. I will. Yeah. Tr- yes. <laughs> I will try. Yes. Let me try. A, maybe a popular. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me try cinema cosa uh-huh. in the style of the original composer. Uh-huh. So that is it. Eh? The original composer did. Yeah. I want to introduce in my So if he was doing the So in case I would do the Exactly. So yeah. we would do it that ah, way. Ah, that's yeah. very nice. Thank, Thank you very you. much for gracing our, our our discussion today. Um, I think it has been quite insightful. We've learned so much. Quite a lot of. I think this would be a book. <laughs> Thank you. This would be a book. Uh, just detailing your experiences, um, your beliefs. We've we've had your you know individual philosophies, uh, philosophies or ideas of the people who've inspired you. Um, in the discussions towards just bettering the kind of discussions we have about music um, here in Kenya, uh, both from the academic perspectives and just as people who love music. Um, Thank you very much. Uh, So uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, uh, then please subscribe. It is very important that you do that because these discussions do not end here. They will continue. Um, we, We are hoping to have more forward Um, and more interesting discussions uh, surrounding music. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kusien. Thank you. um, A music lecturer at the SMPA, Department of Kabarak University, that is the School of Music and Performing Arts. And I, myself, Wahu Kirago, a student in the same department. Uh, Take care. God bless you.
Thank you. Thank you.